Yeah, we start things off with football on the Sportsmax Zone. West Ham had a chance to create more history as they travelled to Germany to take on Freiburg. The London team aiming to go unbeaten for the 17th consecutive European game, a feat which would usurp the 16 which leads in Tottenham Hotspur sheer. Let's see the highlights. Jared Bowen having a run at Leinhardt, getting the cross in, and West Ham are in front. Bowen here with Leinhardt for company, but look at Lucas Paqueta in the middle. Absolutely dominating. Kinta in the air, it's a fantastic header. Ritsu Doha. Oh, it's a good ball, really good ball, super save. And Fabianski makes a brilliant double save, but Salah equalises. Lovely ball from Ritsu Doan here. That's what really caused West Ham a problem. Great save from Fabianski. Great double save from Fabianski. But nothing he could do about the third effort. And Salai. And in. Brilliant header. Nayef again has put West Ham back in front. Attacking the space again. Goalkeeper came. Again, got in front of him. And the net, because the goalkeeper had come, was empty. In off the bar. Freiburg 1, West Ham 2. Yes, yeah, so West Ham taking control of Group A in the Europa League with a big result today that Mariah and uh, Ricardo, they had to fight for. Yeah, very, very important that they fought for today's win because we saw there West Ham had the lead. It looked a bit comfortable. Then Freiburg came from behind. They ensured that they equalised. West Ham, of course, it took some time for them to get that winning goal. But what I will say is West Ham seems to be really enjoying themselves in the Europa League. I love what David Moyes has been doing with this squad. And we continue to monitor them because they're building Lance and Ricardo from strength to strength. They had no Mikel Antonio today, but that was no problem because, of course, the rest of the team, they gel together. I saw some chemistry coming uh, within the team in the second half. They looked a bit more comfortable. So it's a team that, you know, their confidence is building match after match. And if they continue along this path, then they'll be a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, impressive record, Lance and Mariah, by any stretch of the imagination to go 17 matches unbeaten at any level. I know some would say that a, a, a number of those matches would have come in the Europa Conference League last season um, and that has spilt over into the Europa League this season but still incredible that you that a team could go all of 17 matches without tasting defeat in Europe where the football is is quite competitive and I think today was a tremendous reflection of what we've seen from this West Ham team in Europe that they have shown a lot of character, a lot of fighting spirit. They have been able to shrug off some difficult situations and some tough teams and they were able to deliver on that today again against a Freiburg team that without a doubt you would think would be the toughest challenge in this group. And I just want to add James Ward-Prowse in the post-match interview he reiterated the fact, the point that I was making, that it wasn't one of their best games. It was actually one of their toughest matches against Freiburg. They really had to fight. But he went on to say, you know, we now have six points from two games. And that's, of course, a very good start. So he's recognizing that it was not an easy win. It was not a walk in the park. But they're happy for the result and they're going to improve moving forward. Yeah, and happy, of course, as well for David Moyes, who is doing a good job with West Ham. His... Um, Stripes sort of uh, taking some blows with his um, bad run at Manchester United. But um, he is a quality coach, we know that, and he's showing it now. Yeah, he's definitely showing it, and uh, he has a number of players who keep coming up really good for him. As Mariah pointed out, uh, there was no Mikhail Antonio um, up front for them today. He's out injured, hopefully not just from a West Ham standpoint, but from a reggae boy standpoint, that he will be well soon and ready to play again. Um, but Jared Bowen has been having an outstanding season and I know he didn't score today but provided the cross uh, for Paqueta to finish 
um, the opening goal for West Ham. And Jared Bond has, has done so well for this West Ham team. And I think so often his contributions can go unnoticed. But already this season, both in Europe and in the Premier League, he's been impactful. He's had a number of assists. He's been scoring for them as well. And again today, he had another quality game. And his cross was a, was a, was a solid cross because oh, yeah. he, was, he was under pressure on the right flank and uh, didn't have a lot of room to get a good cross in. But his cross was excellent. And uh, Paqueta was, was, was brilliant with the finish as well. So 2-1 to West Ham, as we said, taking control of Group A in the Europa League. Let's uh, move on now to Liverpool. They had an opportunity to get a bad taste out of their mouths from their result against Tottenham on Sunday in the EPL. They took on Royal Union SG. Let's see how that one went. Turn back to Alexander-Arnold, who's going to have a shot. And Maurice spilled it! And that's where it started with an Allison quick play out to Alexander Arnold, and here they came on the counter. Looked like it might break down there. Nunez not playing Timikas in. And Alexander Arnold, well, as he hit it, he must have thought, ah. Over towards the back, Allison. Oh, he's lost it. And Quince has managed to steer it away. Alexander Arnold, here's Elliot. Alexis McAllister with the lift, and Murray with the save to keep out Jota. Gomez. He's lost it. Here's Amora. Puertas, Mohamed Amora. Nielsen waits in the middle. Amora might go it alone. There's a vital deflection on that from Canate to take it behind. Canate. No flag here. No offside. And Luis Diaz goes through and misses. Here's Elliot. And his effort is blocked by Machida. Diaz again. That was blocked by his own teammate Jota. Change of mind. Castro Montes had the angle to cross. And it's over the head of Gomez. And he gets lucky because it bounced off La Pousse and it wasn't quite ready for it. And now Liverpool break. Luis Diaz, though, has lost his balance. Jota takes over, and Jota seals it. It was always on the cards as Union Cast plays forward. But look how lucky Liverpool got. Gomez had misread it. If that had stuck with La Pousse, he had the chance to put it in for 1-1. Instead, a matter of seconds later, the ball breaks off Noah Siddiqui to Diogo Jota. Nothing Siddiqui could do about it. And Mori was not keeping that out. Yeah, um, the victory sealed in stoppage time for Liverpool. Um, Royal Union SG current leaders in Belgium at the moment in their domestic league. So not a bad team and uh, gave Liverpool a, a, a pretty good run and uh, the English team had, had to you know work work for the victory and the three points. Yeah, really happy to see the summer signing, Ryan Gravenberg, as I said at the top of the show, getting on the score sheet for Liverpool because I feel like for quite some time they've struggled where goal scoring is concerned. So it's happy to see somebody that we didn't expect to be on the score sheet getting his name there. So that's one thing to be happy about. Uh, Diego Jota, of course, um, in the second half, getting that goal for Liverpool as well. Two things for Liverpool. After what they had to deal with VAR on the weekend, two things for them to smile about. Now Liverpool are to take the confidence from today's match. Not as if they were playing against a massive team, though. But it's, you know, a positive result from them. They've had two matches. They've walked away with six points. So something to try and at least put their hands on a trophy. Let's see. Yeah, I know a few Liverpool fans who would not be totally happy that Trent Alexander-Arnold is back. I think Jurgen Klopp would be quite pleased that he is back though. Played 16 minutes in the game against Tottenham, that's the EPL game at the weekend, and played 63 minutes in this game today. Of course, he had the shot that led to the opening goal um, for Liverpool. Um, I don't think it counts as an assist normally. Um, if you play fantasy football though, it would go down as an assist. So those who have Trent in their fantasy teams will be quite pleased to see that he is back out there and fit again after missing a few weeks with a hamstring injury. Yeah, 
And uh, on our cricket-heavy uh, Sports Max Zone today, we can say good afternoon as well to one of the biggest Liverpool fans I know, Ivy Richards. Yeah. Sir Isaac, Vivian Alexander. So he has a reason to smile today. <laughs> and I will be talking a little bit, Lance and Mariah, about Ivy Richards in yeah. our West Indies women's cricket segment. Oh. That's coming up next. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to hear what Ricardo has to say. Well, let's take a break and we'll be right back.